Well, people who live at a midtown apartment complex have had enough. After almost a month, they still don't have heat, nor do they have hot water, nor do they have a clue when that might end. In fact, today their nightmare got worse when another service was turned off. Our Stephen Pempo is here with the story. Stephen? Richard, that's right. And neighbors at the venue apartment say they had no power for almost six hours in what was supposed to be part of the effort to restore their heat and hot water. But when the lights finally did go back on, the heat and hot water still didn't, leaving tenants even more in the dark. I can't run no more than two space heaters at a time. We're supposed to be getting in the 20s soon, and I'm, we don't know when we're supposed to have hot water or heat. That's what tenants living at the venue apartment complex are dealing with after almost three weeks without hot water and four with no heat. It's been horrible. Uh, we've been boiling water to take baths, boiling water to wash dishes, all of that. And they don't know. They don't know when it's going to be turned on. They can't do anything. And so the wait continues with no end in sight. I sit out here all day when I'm here because it's just as cold up there. In the recent past, managers have said the issues are related to the carbon monoxide leaks from late November, but dated messages from property management show the services were off before then. Adding to their misery today, they went nearly six hours without power. They sent us a text this morning, and then at 9.57, the power got shut off, and it didn't get turned down until like 4.30. The complex also has yet to repair several front doors where firefighters had to break in during the gas leak. It's been hard because, I mean, I got an autistic son that has sensory processing disorder, so not taking a proper bath, he don't know how to react to it because we're bathing. I'm boiling water, putting it in a five-gallon bucket. Alicia Dietrich says she's trying to get out of her lease with a 30-day notice instead of the required 60 days. Another resident who did not want to appear on camera suggested something more drastic. Not pay rent. The property manager sent out this letter to residents several days ago saying they were making progress and crediting them two weeks off their monthly rent. But one fed up person left this cry for help. What they really want is hot water. Now, I reached out to Stella Mars property management today, but they did not respond as of news time. Also, the leasing office was closed by the time we arrived there today.